Hello Sagittarius. Welcome to my channel, Autumn and the Mage. Uh, thank you so much for joining me here. This is going to be a general message in regards to love for Sagittarius. It is general, so it might not resonate with you. Uh, and if it does not, then thank you so much for viewing, but please don't try to make it fit. There might be an aspect of the message that you're meant to hear, but if the story is not yours, then it's just not yours, and that is okay. I hope you stop back here again soon to see if I have a message for you in the future. But thank you so much. I'm going to go ahead and draw some cards to look at the energy coming towards you, Sagittarius, and we'll clarify those cards and um, draw messages or advice from both the tarot and oracle decks. So... Let's go ahead and get started, Sagittarius. Can we please get three cards for the energy coming towards Sagittarius? We get the Eight of Swords to start. I love this deck. The pictures are so vibrant and pretty. Um, but wow, is she bound up, right? <laughs> In the Eight of Swords, it talks about us being trapped mentally, but... Definitely being able to set ourselves free. And she can set herself free, but she's definitely let herself get tied up with her thoughts and really focusing on whatever this is that she's trapped in. So um, what else is coming towards Sagittarius? We get the Hermit. I love this card in this deck. Isn't this a pretty picture? <laughs> Um, in case it's not obvious, fall is my favorite season, and I just love how there's all of this, like, these fall leaves coming down. It really looks like a fall picture, which, okay, I, okay, I get that, but Virgo, and I'm sorry, the Hermit is Virgo energy, so you might be dealing with a Virgo, but with the Hermit, that's someone really focusing on their inner light. They're turning within themselves to search for an answer, Okay. They're looking within at their their truth, their light, their hope, the thing that, that guides them, their heart, and searching for an answer there. Possibly, it, it's the right place to look, not in their mind. Uh, they shouldn't be focused on their mind. The Queen of Swords, uh, this is air energy, so that might be Virgo. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, don't. This might be air energy, which is Aquarius. Gemini or Libra so you might be dealing with one of those but the Queen of Swords is somebody who's been through it you know and she's not going to go through it again she's like she's put her foot down she sometimes comes across kind of icy because she's not going to take your crap okay so she's very this is what I want and I'm going to get it and I'm not going to accept anything less because this is what I need and what I deserve and it's very you know determined energy for sure not bad, but maybe comes across a little bit cool and icy. And the Five of Swords, and this is a more mental conflict. Five of Swords really, for me, is like, in my opinion, is like kind of a headache. It's focusing on something that has happened that they feel defeated in. It's a, it's a battle they won, but they did it in such a way that they either hurt others or they hurt themselves because they weren't, they didn't approach it in a way that was true to themselves, okay? They approached it in a way that was dishonest. And so they've won, but it doesn't feel like winning. And so with the Five of Swords, that has happened. And now we're trying to, we're trying to, like, well, we're having a, a mental battle with ourselves, trying to, like, What's the word? Validate our actions or make what we make what has happened. Okay, make this turn this defeat into a victory. Okay, so we're really focusing mentally on that. But that is definitely a card of feeling defeated. Wow. I mean, this person is kind of stuck, to be honest, Sagittarius, that's coming towards you. They're stuck. Um, and they're definitely not coming forward with, well, they're not coming forward with their heart. Can we please clarify the eight of swords for the energy coming from Sagittarius? I am, you know, last week's reading for you guys was, was 
a hard reading and looking back on it after I made it I was like because I felt really light about it while I was doing it but the message was really kind of heartbreaking that um so I'm sorry Sagittarius that this that this has happened to you and this energy coming towards you like I said it's not necessarily bad it's just they're really not looking at their heart they should be turning within with this hermit card I mean look inside at what guides you and like let that lead you forward but it's there there's lots of swords here so you really might be dealing with air energy but can we please clarify the eight of swords for the energy coming towards Sagittarius please clarify the eight of swords Please clarify the Eight of Swords for the energy coming towards Sagittarius. Hmm. That's too many cards though. We get the Four of Cups, and this is a feeling of disappointment, okay? Um, either they're this person focusing on past disappointments, or they're this person and they feel rejected because the person they're offering to is focusing on past disappointments. But either way, this is a card of being disappointed, okay? Temperance, that is a, a call for patience, okay? And needing to have patience so that healing can take place. The Temperance card is also a card of healing. The Ten of Wands is feeling um, weighed down. It's feeling very weighed down by our responsibilities, but also like our own passions. These are things that that at some point really sparked us and really ignited a fire within us. And so this but they're they're very determined they're this energy is almost to the end i mean they're almost there okay and then the ace of wands which is what follows that ten of wands once they get to the end of this journey they start anew okay and um that ace of wands is a new passion okay and six of wands which is victory so i really feel like this person is mentally trapped because they're disappointed in the time that it's taking them to finish this journey so they can start new and have that victory. All right. There's some there's some path that they're on that's just taking a lot of time and that is discouraging to them. And they're really trapped in their head about the fact that this is just taking forever. But they're almost there. They're really almost there and they will find that victory. They've just got to hold on a bit longer. trying to oh the temperance is Sagittarius energy I don't know if I said that that's your energy Sagittarius sorry my cards are all uh, slippy flying all over the place can I please can we clarify the hermit please clarify the hermit Please clarify the hermit. We get uh, the Hierophant, which is wanting to, in the Hierophant, this, okay, the Hierophant is like a spiritual leader, okay? And it's about, um, like about awakening, and it's about taking that next step, moving spiritually upward, okay? But it's also a, a card about marriage, okay? Or taking the next step in a situation in the hierophant they want to follow all the proper steps they want to take they want to go in order do you know what i mean and so this card which is also a marriage card if i didn't say it um 
but in this card they want to take the next step they want to move forward okay they want to move up and that's what they're focusing that's what they're looking within themselves to try and answer like how do they do that how do they move up and they might be looking for looking within themselves for this answer for this uh, spiritual guidance okay wanting to raise their energy wanting to lift their energy can we look at the queen of swords please Let's clarify the queen of swords in regards to the energy coming towards Sagittarius please clarify the queen of we get the queen of cups and that's Someone who's very has a great capacity for love, an incredible capacity for love, and understanding and compassion, and um, very a very tender heart. Okay, and the Queen of Swords, she's definitely been there. She's been hurt, being letting herself come forward in that way, and so now she's got this shield. She's got to be pickier. She's got to come across a little icier because underneath that energy is this this. Um, these cups, this love, this incredible love and compassion and empathy, all right? Um, the Queen of Cups, this is water energy. So that's Pisces. Um, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio right there. The Hierophant is Taurus energy. So get that. We also get the Knight of Cups, okay? And this is wanting to come forward and offer the, offer that cup. See, this person has a great capacity for love and compassion, and they have their heart open to you, and they want to express that to you. But because of the past, because of their their experiences in life, they feel the need to block themselves, to protect themselves. And so they're coming, they approach you appearing to be the Queen of Swords, but really underneath that, they are the Queen of Cups offering this cup, this Knight of Cups coming forward, all right? Can we please take a look at the Five of Swords? Please clarify the Five of Swords. Please clarify the Five of Swords. Oh, Hmm. I feel like they don't feel like they've succeeded with you so far. With the Five of Swords, uh, I think this is in regards to you. I feel like they don't feel like they've won, right, with you. Because what we're getting here is the Magician, which is Virgo and Gemini energy. But with the Magician, we're, we're trying to manifest something, okay? And I know that they're not trying to manifest a false victory. They're not. Okay, we get the three of pentacles, which is what they're actually trying to manifest. They want to begin something with you. They want to start this foundation and build together with you. They want to create with you. I'm sorry if you can hear my kids. <laughs> they're not fighting. They're playing. Um, but I'm so sorry. They can be super loud sometimes. I feel like I need to get soundproofing all over my room for these readings, but... They definitely want to manifest this, uh, at least start with friendship. If there's been some kind, they, they feel defeated. They don't feel like they've succeeded with you. So maybe they are a part of your life, but they're not in the way that they want to be. And this is them really trying to manifest this teamwork and this coming together to work towards something. This is positive energy, Sagittarius for sure. Definitely better than what we've been looking at in regards to you. So that's good. I do feel like this person underneath what they're showing you, like underneath what they're showing, do they have good intentions and they, they have the emotions here because it really isn't coming across with the way they're approaching you. It's coming across kind of icy and cool, but that's not how they feel. Underneath it, they definitely are looking for... They're definitely looking for more with you. Can we please get advice for Sagittarius in regards to this connection? 
Okay, the first card that came out there was the Two of Cups, which is advising you to have an open heart. Okay, um, that also talks about soulmate energy and just feeling a really strong connection with somebody, feeling a pull towards them. Okay, and the Two of Cups is advising us to to offer our cup, you know, and to take theirs, to foster that feeling with within this connection, you know, um, nurture it and build it and let it happen, okay, with the Two of Cups. So that's what you're being advised to do there. We also get the Temperance card, which isn't, this is your energy again, um, and this has come out once already, that sometimes that time and healing may be necessary, okay? But if we approach it with an open heart, then we allow for that time and that healing, which of course you know, Sagittarius. So, but, um, so you're being advised that this might take time to have patience with the person and patience for yourself, okay? And then the Nine of Pentacles um, here, which actually advises you not to forget about not to forget about yourself and your um your desires and your uh things that you're trying to achieve your goals because in the nine of pentacles this person is well this person is financially stable they have in their lives all the all the things that they could want you know money and they have the home and the car and the, they, they have all of the things that they need and want. And they, as advice, this card is telling you not to forget that, to, to still work on you and still work on who you are. But so you're being advised that this is going to take time, but have an open heart and have some compassion and also don't give it all your focus. Okay. They're not saying like, just focus on this connection while opening your heart to this connection and giving it time, continue to work on yourself, okay, and progress your goals and work towards the things that you want to achieve, because doing that will really um, strengthen this, this, strengthen whatever connection you end up in this one, or if it's another, but building ourselves up and creating this life for ourselves allows us to be in a position to offer stability and commitment to somebody else, okay? So they're telling you to not to forget that. Let's take a look at an oracle messages. We're going to take a look at the universe has your back. Can we please get a message for Sagittarius in regards to this energy that's moving towards them? Advice for Sagittarius, please. Can you please um, give us advice for Sagittarius in regards to this energy coming towards them? Advice for Sagittarius? Instead of praying for an outcome, I pray for the highest good for all. That's just a general, very good position to put yourself in. Like, people sometimes focus so firmly on what they want, how they want a situation to look, instead of just um, accepting it for what it is. Accept the situation for what it is. Open your heart, you know, and accept it and let it be what it wants to be, let it be what it needs to be, okay? It's a really great advice. I let go of the shadow of the past by seeing someone for the first time with the eyes of love. So if this is a person for me, sorry, just one second. Sorry. They're chasing each other. They forgot they weren't supposed to come in here. Sorry. So 
I let go of the shadow of the past by seeing someone for the first time with the eyes of love. So yes, if this is a person from your past, then it is asking you to have that open heart towards them. And that um, having that open heart definitely, it clears the fog uh, and it releases us. It releases us from the past. So good advice. Let's go ahead and get one more card from Your Heart Knows the Way Oracle deck. Can we please get a message for Sagittarius? That was quick. Considering the other one took like years. <laughs> love, sh love lives in stillness is what it says. That's interesting with that, that advice there, that two of cups and the temperance. It's card number 43. That number might mean something to you, but 43. Love lives in stillness. Do you wish you could feel in love again? Are you frustrated because love seems to exist outside of your reach? For too long now, you've made your dwelling in a space outside of love. This really connects for me with last week's, last week's reading because Sagittarius, I don't know if this, is, this, this message resonates with the same people, but last week that message really was that Sagittarius wanted, they were ready uh, to be in love. They were ready for that commitment in every way they really appeared to be. And they were hoping for it with somebody who wasn't exactly approaching them with the right um, energy. They were definitely kind of deceptive energy. So anyway, this, uh, this for too long now, you've made your dwelling in space outside of love. Sorry. Um, the whole, do you wish to feel in love again? And are you frustrated because it feels just outside of your reach? That really uh, connects with that message. So if this is the same Sagittarius, then that really makes sense. For too long now, you've made your dwelling in a space outside of love. Then you've made it your mission to seek for love where it's not. And when you did not find it, you've told yourself stories of being unlucky, unworthy, and unloved. This card reminds you that the only place love exists is within yourself. You cannot find love in another if you haven't first found it within you. Today, let stillness be your gateway to the love that's hidden safely within your heart. In every sentence, listen for the pause. And Sorry, there's a motorcycle now. My goodness, everybody wants to interrupt your reading today, Sagittarius. In every sentence, listen for the pause and make your dwelling there. Listen to the silence that envelopes the sounds that surround you. Observe the space of nothingness that cushions your senses. This is how you move from your mind into your heart. This is how you stop chasing love where it is not and you find its home within you instead. It is when you discover the source of love within you that you can know the truth about yourself that you are blessed and infinitely worthy and unconditionally loved. Well, that's a really beautiful message uh, for you, Sagittarius. That is all that I have for you today. So I do hope that this resonated with you. I hope that it brought you some clarity. And if it did, please feel free to co post a comment below in the comment section, or if you prefer to have a private conversation with me, my email address is listed. So please feel free to email me. Um, but thank you so much again for watching this video. I really can't express how much I appreciate it, truly. Uh, so thank you very, very much. And please remember to be positive, to think positive thoughts and uh, have hope because we get what we believe we can have. We get what we think. So if our thoughts are positive and we have hope, then we call that into our lives. So please focus on that. And um, like I said, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for viewing and I hope I see you back here again. Have a great day. Bye.